this year basically we are observing this dengue different types and mo mostly now what we see which is rare actually it's it's affecting your brain affecting your heart and affecting your liver so in the brain suppose the dengue virus goes in the brain and affects the brain you get a giddiness first thing second in the extreme cases in the later part of the disease you might get fits second it has a potential to affect your liver also so you may get lot of nausea and vomiting subsequently when we ask for any test you look for the liver status also third it has a potential to affect your heart also so you get inflammation in the heart what we call as a myocarditis so you get a lot of palpitation and breathlessness and the important is that now which is more severe form that we are observing a lot of bleeding in the intestine in the gastrointestinal tract in the gi tract so you drop your hemoglobin you lose your blood and there a lot of giddiness breathlessness and you find yourself pale how do patients know that they have internal bleeding what are the symptoms yeah, two or three things what you need to look that first is suppose a patient has a internal bleeding it's very difficult to detect for the patient for herself or himself so important thing was you need to remember suppose what what are the stools you are passing it is black colored stool that is a definitive indication that you are losing the blood first thing second you are feeling too weak too exhausted that may be because of loss of hemoglobin loss of blood and third in the lab parameters there is a drop in the hemoglobin suppose yesterday you do the test hemoglobin was 14 and today suppose hemoglobin is 13 that indicates that you are losing the blood children may get uh, vomiting of blood so that is called hematemesis and uh, they might pass black colored stools which you call malin or they might have frank red blood also that is uh, again indicative of bleeding the hemoglobin as he rightly said will suddenly drop normally in uh, if the uh, we have a baseline report of hemoglobin say 13 14 suddenly it drops to 10 11 and it means the child must have bled inside as per the medical recommendation on the day first week we do antigen test after one week we do antibody test and there are specific tests when we strongly suspect but we don't get a result then doctor intention will add on that in spite of suspecting strongly you are not getting lab results positive there are specific slightly costly tests are there like pcr and all that so dr niranjan will throw light on that but this test frequently we don't do i think uh, not usually recommended not usually recommended